Hey, what's up guys, my name is and welcome to a very interesting video. Uh, I'm playing Breath of the Wild here. Uh, as you can see, I have all four Divine Beasts unlocked. It is legitimately two weeks since I bought the- well, since I started playing the game, and I'm already- Well, it's not- well, I played, I played at least 60 hours of Desiree. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long and fun two weeks. That's not really the point here, though. Uh, as you can see, well, actually, I pulled out the bomb not on purpose, but it's actually related to today's video, which is me learning how to win bomb, because this will be a learning process, I'm sure, and we're actually going to be using it to our advantage, because we're going to be going from Tabantha Tower to that red marker there, because I'm pretty sure that's another tower, and I'm going to try to use wind bombing to try to get to that tower. I'm going to be practicing this. It's a, uh, it's not an advanced trick, but. It's actually supposed to be one of the simpler tricks slash. No, it's not an exploit. Exploit is using a glitch. Um, I'm, I'm I'm supposed to be using. Well, no, not, you don't have to use it, but it does help with some situations. <sighs> okay. Let me just equip the right bow here. Uh, I don't know why I equipped ancient arrows. I just instinctively equipped ancient arrows. Um, so the direction of the red marker is over there, which means I will go on this ledge right here. That tower right there is where I'm trying to get to. Alright, gonna save here, because when I say this might take me multiple tries, it's gonna take multiple tries. So it's like... Okay, so what? From what I understand, you jump off, pull out, pull out a cir a, a circle bomb, normal bomb, go into bullet time, switch to your square bomb, go back to your circle bomb, blow up the circle bomb, and you go flying. That was not how it's supposed to work. So the problem is I don't know if this I can't see if the square bomb is actually like getting released. Oh wait, you're not supposed to be holding ZR after the first time, I think. So you're gonna be like Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Oh no, not yet. Um Yeah, there's also no way you're supposed to do. Uh, I detonated it way too early. G give me a second. <laughs> G give me one moment. Learning process for sure. I miss because I think I did that way too. I need to do it fast, and that's the problem here. Because it did actually hit the square bomb, which is actually what we want to do. We want the circle bomb to hit the square bomb for this, and the square bomb to hit me, so I go flying, absolutely flying. So I'm gonna. I think that was actually very close. Um. I think you're supposed to get more speed in it, so we're gonna try again. Take what, four? <laughs> it is a learning process. I do not know how to win bomb at all. Um, I'm legitimately making this video just to win bomb, and I'm probably gonna make a video when I fight Climb again for the first time. Alright, so. I waited too long after that, uh... Oh wait, you're not supposed to draw out your bow at all, I think. I think that's the tip here. You're not supposed to draw out your bow at all. You're supposed to be hitting it, just so you can... <sighs> I 
I got something, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hit a square bomb. Learning experience for sure. I'm just trying to teach myself. Like, I watched the videos, but I'm pretty sure I'm not even taking out a square bomb for some reason. So it's like... Jump. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, you're not supposed to be. I keep holding the ZR button because you're not you're not really supposed to. Yet. So the point here is that you should be launched. I don't know exactly. I think I might need to pull my phone for this. I might have to watch a video for this because this is gonna be difficult for sure. It's like what takes six? <laughs> that was close, but we we detonated. Square bomb, which is not what we're supposed to do. Cause I didn't even see it come out, and like, okay, I might need to practice something actually first before I do it, cause I'm not, I, I don't even know when the square bomb actually comes out. Generally, we do not get height with that. You're supposed to be getting height, speed, and also zoom off to the direction, and I do not know how to do it. I'm pulling up YouTube for this. I, I don't really care anymore. Uh, I mean, technically, that's what I'm technically supposed to do because I'm actually using tutorials for this. But man, why is wind bombing so difficult? I watched like three different videos, and I don't. I think I need to actually look at it first. Oh, maybe I want to do it. Oh, I do need to do that. Don't. Oh, I don't have to do that. But um, okay, ZL. Wait, ZL. I don't get why you need to do ZL. You want to do it? okay, so it's 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 easier to do from the ledge. I mean, that's for sure. So I did this, bust it out. Um, okay, that's not gonna work. It actually feels like I'm not learning as much because of the fact that I'm using the video. I'm using the ledge. I don't know how to do it on the ledge. I I have I have a feeling I'm, I'd probably do better in the air, which is what I'm trying to do. So it's like. Oh wait, you need get yeah, you need you need like drop the bomb. I'd say further. I still need it. Or maybe I'm just not making the square bomb here yet, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. It doesn't make sense. You do have to press L, don't you? That was very close. We actually got the impact. Um, I got. I didn't get the right angle. 
because we don't want to we don't want to draw the bow out um oh wait i need to i need to do this Okay, that was actually very close, I think. I think we're getting much, much closer. Um, actually, actually cannot pull... I cannot pull the pull. Uh, I cannot pull out the bow, because uh, that's not the point here. Ah, that's very close, that's very close. Let me, ju let me just say that, that was very close. How far are we on the map? Not that far, but... You know what? We're getting closer because we actually saw the zoom in happen there, and that's kind of what we want. Actually, I think I was a bit too low actually for that one, so I think I need to light a little bit. I did it! Oh my gosh, I actually did it! It's lagging, but I actually pulled it off. Oh my goodness, I actually pulled off a wind bomb. I am... Wow, okay. It all, it took about 11 minutes, but we actually pulled off the wind bomb. Technically, we're not going to get to that tower. However, I am very, very happy right now. I actually pulled it off. Kind of, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Baby's first wind bomb. It's always, it's always an exciting thing, you know? Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually go up on the mountain and actually try to wind bomb all the way up to that uh, tower. I don't know what tower it is, but man, I'm actually very happy now. I actually got it. Um, I probably could have just used uh, Revali's Gale just to get up here, but I'm not into a laser. I'm just gonna use Revali's Gale. For sure, Ball's Gale, it takes a bit to, uh... I'll just have to get out that mountain, which is, uh, gonna be a while. So, I was getting- oh, no. Oh, no, no, it's, it's morning. I, I thought it was nighttime, so, like, I thought the, the, the skeleton boys uh, are gonna come out, but not yet. I know what they're actually called, by the way. I know they're called stall. Well, the stall variants. I don't know what. So I thought it was called the stallfuls, but it's called stall is all. It's also just a shrine nearby. Um, I might need to put a marker just for the radar. I don't actually know where it is. I'm just gonna go find her first. Um, please bear with me. Uh. Pardon me, but I actually don't see it. I see chest. I see some blue enemies. I'm gonna put a marker right here, just so I can think about it later. Um, Go on this mountain here. I feel like the best results will come from this mountain here. You know what? I'll take it. We got a little- The roof protection is now ready to roll. The fact that I got first try, kind of, right after I just learned how, um, that makes me happy already, I'm gonna be honest. 
Um, you know what? Let's do it one more time, just so we can, <laughs> just so we can try again. I, I, I'm really excited that I actually got it off, y'all. Like, I, I was having a very difficult time comprehending it when I first saw the videos on it. But man, the fact that I can even pull it off is just fantastic. I don't think I can do it everywhere, unfortunately. Okay, that's not it. Uh, I, I, I pulled out the bow. I shouldn't have been pulling the bow out. So does the bow not put... Is the reason why you don't want to pull the bow out because you don't get turned into a ragdoll? What that's what it's called. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a better angle. I'm probably gonna actually gonna cut this video because uh, there's, there's a lot of loading times in this one, you know? Try again. So I'm, I'm I'm astonished I actually got it right away after um, learning, actually pulling it off for the first time. That that's that's honestly the most surprising part for me. So I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna target it this time. Thanks, Daruk. Um, I don't hear that a lot today. <laughs> I use Daruk's protection against Wind Blight Ganon's uh, bullet things. I don't know how to disarm them. I just know that you can use. Actually, I don't even know the strategy for Wind Blight. Okay. Not quite. Oh man, I was just so excited about getting a first try earlier. Now I'm just not. I'm failing over and over. It's a, le it's a learning experience for sure, but. Is that my catchphrase now? It's a learning experience? It's kind of a lame catchphrase if you ask me. So, what is that? It's a flag. Okay. Ready to roll. I had to stop pulling out the bow. You pre you tap it once. You tap it once just to enter bullet time temporarily. Then you line yourself up. Then you go boom. Yo, we actually did it again. Uh, we didn't get enough height, but. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Also, oh wait, I just, just want to see if I can melt this. I don't have fire arrows. That's it's great, y'all. I don't have fire arrows. I'm gonna do it again because it actually might help. This is a this is a learning process for sure. I'm gonna try to get a better angle because uh, just so I can ragdoll up there hopefully. So for some reason that time the circle bomb actually went higher than the square bomb because I jumped off of it. The point is you're trying to get the circle bomb to actually go lower than the square bomb. And you use, you're supposed to be like, like in the line with those things. So... That did not help at all. I do not know how to do a ledge bomb honestly. I can only do it in the air. That's that's the funny part for me. I can't do it consistently. Dang. 
We're gonna keep trying this. I'm gonna try to get up that tower. How do you do a ledge? I mean, I guess you need a flat ledge. It's probably help. That was definitely not it. And also, I pulled out the bow again. I'm not supposed to be pulling out the bow, Rune Fire. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I call myself Rune Fire recording. Isn't that weird? How do you even... Wait longer, I guess. I'm not supposed to be pulling up the bell. I gotta learn that it's not about pulling the bell. It's all about doing quickly, press pressing ZR, not holding ZR. I kinda wanna try launching myself downward, but I guess it's not something like that. I know it's something to do with like wind boxes on the bombs, because they have a wind box, then a like an explosion box or something like that. No bow, Rune Fire, no bow. Just tap it once or something, just hold it a little bit. Stop taking out the bow. I gotta stop taking out the bow. The bow is not beneficial to me at all. The bow actually hinders things for once. <sighs> I gotta learn not to, not to take out the bow. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. I took out the bow. Uh, I'm, I'm regressing. I'm regressing. This is why I need this video. I'm so glad I'm actually taking more time for this because I really need practice not pulling out the bow. What's that, Pooch? I actually feel like editing this because it sounds more fun just to show an edited video for smaller ones. So hopefully Red Fire remembers to edit this. If he, if he doesn't, that'd be very disappointing. No one wants to watch 24 minute video me constantly failing. <laughs> Why is it taking longer to load now? Oh, it was because it was in the air, wasn't it? And it had bombs. Okay. I'm regressing, y'all. Oh, I didn't even press the R then. Oops. Get on your way The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Okay, I'm actually gonna save here so I don't want to hear Jerusalem's protection is ready to roll every single time.
I don't know why it was so slow that one time, but... I did it again. I need to pull out a little bit, but just enough so I don't pull out the bow. <sighs> fire spreads increase the updraft. Yeah, not a campfire though. I learned that the hard way. I keep putting like four campfires in a in like a circle. It's not working for me. I got I gotta learn better. Okay, see you. Okay, for some reason I'm not pulling out the I'm not hitting ZR long enough. So it's not tap. It's hold it a little bit. I think I got that before. I just for some reason was convincing myself that it was tap. Even though I am no expert in such matters. Come on, this is... Okay, rune fire is hard, yes, but you gotta learn. Do not take out bow, okay? Do not take out the bow. Please do not take out the bow. I did it again. Do not take out the bow, but also hold ZR. <laughs> it's, okay, it's jump off, hit L, very quickly go to bullet time. I'm sorry, I, I keep hitting the up arrow too early in. You gotta keep holding up too, because I think you need to keep moving forward. That's definitely not it. I shot an arrow. Did you see that? I shot an arrow. I'm regressing. I'm regressing. Oh boy. I'm regressing. I'm not learning anymore. I am going backwards. You know what? I think I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with that. I really want to make it up that tower. I think the problem is, uh, actually, is the fact that I keep moving downwards, which isn't the point here. You actually want to let the bomb go, like, early. Sorry, I did it again. Oh yeah, you need a cliff because all the time, if that makes sense. I like how they keep talking about remote bombs because I've been using them so much, probably. Sorry, I just, I just gotta, I just gotta focus actually. Actually, I think no. Actually, I think the problem is actually I need to go further downwards. Okay. Okay, Lonk, you gotta not draw your bow. Okay, Lunk, do not draw a bow, okay? You can you cannot draw draw your bow. Is there a better place to do this? I think on that cliff right there, but I don't have a horse, unfortunately. I that might be alarming to hear, but I I have never registered a horse. Which definitely is a, is something I should not be I should be doing. I should register horses more. Like, than I already have because I have not registered any. Or is it not possible to get to that height? Huh? 
Gotta line it up. Oh yeah, thanks, Kane. I, you know, at the four divine beasts, I don't know about Magnesis pulling out objects in water. Stop pulling out the bow! Stop pulling out the bow! Your ability varies with every weapon. What are you aware of the condition of your equipment? Oh, I'm breaking the It's one of the first things I learned before I even played the game. I knew there was durability. I feel like it would be easier for me to head downwards and upwards. I think that's the problem here. Sorry. I cannot do it consistently. I don't know why. Again, I'm pretty sure it's because it's not lined up. In which case... Oof. No, I think it's because of the cliff. It might have to be the cliff. But I've done it once, that's the problem. I've done it twice, actually. But now I'm just not getting it. So my, my, my problem here is that do you still have to press L after the square bomb? Like do you, use, do you hit L to hit the square bomb or does it, 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 cause it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like it appears immediately, right? I did it again, sorry. Oh. Maybe a better height would be better. Right here is nice. I'm gonna try a few more times, and I want to get this at least once more. Once more time, one more time. Okay, we got the rag doll. I almost died from it, and I went downwards. See, I can- I feel like that makes more sense, like, right? Like, like, I feel like it'd be easier to go downwards than upwards. Unless you did it at, like, the perfect timing. Like, you let it go on the cliff and stuff. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Long loading time because I'm pretty sure I didn't. I did way too much in that instance. Um, you good game? You doing all right? You doing dandy? I need to stop loading in a really bad situation because this is gonna take a long time. You know what? I think I'm actually. Oh, it lagged there. 
It actually lagged on the first time I did it too, but I think I'm actually fine moving it off like that. Um, can I melt this somehow? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- Hebra Tower. That's what it's called. I'm gonna guess you can't- Can I touch this? No. Can I melt it? I probably can melt it. I don't have fires, but I do have lots of wood. I'm just gonna finish it off by doing this, just getting up to Hebra Tower. Oops. Oh wait, I can just do this. <laughs> I can use the updraft from the fire. Wait, it did work though. Usually it doesn't work for me like that. I don't know why I'm doing this slowly because I legitimately have like a lot of stamina. Yeah, and it's gonna be an easy trip from here on out. Ah, uh, back in the old days when I had to climb slowly. Now I have like almost two full things of stamina. Like I, I so I got the thirteen hearts right, and then I got the master sword. You know I did all that. Uh, then I went on to do a uh, Ven or uh, Divine Beast Meadow. So like, I have fourteen hearts, and then like like before I had like when I had thirteen hearts, I had two extra bars of stamina. Now I have like what seven extra bars of stamina. <laughs> How time changes. I have not put an extra point into heart in a long time. But yeah, with that said, that'll be it for today's uh, wind bombing lesson. Simply me using it as a practice of sorts, because, uh, you know, it's pretty difficult. Oh, for me, it's probably. It's it, it's it's muscle memory for some people because they practice it a lot, you know. Me? Oh boy, yeah, I'm not gonna have that same experience. But thank you all so much for watching, and with that said, I will see you guys next time. So with that said, see you guys and stay safe. Bye bye.